describe your journey, right? Because you small town kid, undrafted, sort of off the radar, and now here you are at the Stanley Cup final. You know, growing up, we you, you always dreamt of one playing, you know, in the NHL on the on the outdoor rinks and, and things like that. And it's kind of a full circle thing because you never expected to be there. Uh, I'm not sure many people do. I think where I got the passion for the game was just from the outdoor rinks and, and my parents teaching me growing up and and playing with my buddies and, and uh, you know it's just it's just been uh, gratitude the whole way and, and uh, I'm lucky that I get to do what I love for a living. You know, just trying to make my parents proud each year and every day in my community and the people that have kind of you know given you pushes along the way, right? So. You mentioned your community, Zach, and this could be a historic moment, right? Mm -hmm. You could be the first Stanley Cup winner ever from the Sioux Valley Dakota Nation. What does that mean to you? There's a lot of words to describe that. I think that could be a long conversation too. They, uh, they've they always been supportive of me. They've been encouraging. Um, they've given me resources that I, I was able to use growing up playing the game to, to take the burden off my parents. Um, I take a lot of pride in being a role model for, for our people and, and, and showing that, you know, with hard work, dedication, and, and having the people that love you and support you uh, be by your side through this whole journey. I think um, I just want to be a, a representation of of hard work and just when you love something go after it and and, uh, and that you know even for a small town kid from from Manitoba that was <laughs> never particularly good at hockey um, you know find a way and and and, and uh, uh, do something you love. Back it comes to the line scores Zach White Cloud. talk about your pride and you mentioned recently about your pride of carrying the White Cloud name, your grandfather's name. How much do you think about him when here you are like living out your childhood dream? It's 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 an honor for me because um, what my grandfather and the generations before went through to um, still be here and, and uh, being able to have the last name White Cloud is, is something I've taken a lot of pride in and something I've had to learn growing up that in our language and in our culture having that last name uh, you represent the family, you represent everyone that carries that name. Um, and that, that, that has a lot of importance.